Hi, my name is Jessica, and welcome to Closet Confessions of a Crazy Mama. This is my closet where I do my um, alone time, and I have a desk in here where I do my scripture study. <clears throat> um, anyway, I wanted to share with you something I learned recently. I was having a really bad day. Um, I wasn't recovering from COVID as quickly as I had hoped. Um, it was the day I was supposed to have finished my quarantine and I was still feeling sick. In fact, I was feeling sicker than I had in a few days and I was uh, feeling awful and I was um, worried because my cousin got COVID back when it first came to the U.S. Um, in, back in March of 2020. and she's still struggling with effects from it um and so i was worried that i would have to struggle for the rest of my life with the effects um because it just kept coming back the symptoms kept coming back and uh covid affects the brain you know that's why we, I, we can tell because of the loss of smell and the loss of taste that happens in the brain and um, in me, and I think in many others, it also causes some temporary depression. And I was feeling pretty depressed. Um, so anyway, I, I was really struggling and I cried, I cried most of the day because I'd had to give up so much to the stupid virus that's going around. And I kept listing everything in my mind of things that we were missing out on. Um, the twins got had to miss their first day of preschool and the kids missed so much school and were behind and getting poor grades because they had missed so many classes. Um, I had missed going to the temple um, when I had had it scheduled for a long time. Um, I missed the peace of mind. Um, I was just so worried about all of this and about um, <clears throat> not recovering like I wanted to. And also, um, I was worried about my physical health. You know, it's, it's hard not to be healthy. It's hard to take care of a family when I feel sick all the time. Um, so I was having my little, own little pity party. Um, but I was listening to uh, a YouTube channel called Unshaken um, and it's kind of like a visual podcast and um, Brother Halverson was talking about section 98 of the Doctrine and Covenants and he was talking about how the Saints in Missouri um, historically as members uh, members of our church the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints were persecuted um, back in the 1800s and this is happening in 1832. Um, the saints were being persecuted in Missouri. They, and they were being kicked out of their homes and being mistreated and threatened. And they, they were losing everything. Um, and I kind of felt like I could relate. I mean, I wasn't being kicked out of my home or being mistreated, but I felt like I was losing everything. I lost my health, my kids' education, you know, and it wasn't definitely wasn't as bad as the saints had it, but I could relate. Um, and in section 98, verse 1, the Lord tells the people, Verily I say unto you, my friends, fear not, let your hearts be comforted, yea, rejoice evermore, and in everything give thanks. And that stuck out to me. That struck me. I was having a pity party about my temporary trials and worrying that they would last forever. But God says to me, fear not in my worry. And in my pain and sorrows, he says to me, let your heart be comforted. And in my complaining and listing everything that was going wrong, God said, in everything give thanks. And that was my turning point. Um, I realized that I had been 
having the wrong attitude about this whole thing. I had been complaining and worrying and I needed to have faith, not fear. I needed to let my heart be comforted, let the Lord comfort me, and I needed to give thanks. So some of the things that I am thankful for is that the illness wasn't worse than it was, that um, none of us had to be hospitalized. We um, are all regaining our health. We're not out of the water yet, but we're close. Um, that the children were able to do a little bit of their school online while we were home. Um, that's a blessing. Um, there are so many blessings in this. And as I thought about my blessings, that I have a home, that I have air conditioning in this hot weather, that I have a family, that I have um, so many friends and neighbors who have reached out and offered to help in so many different ways. Um, I just have so much to be grateful for, and especially I'm grateful for my Savior, Jesus Christ, and the love that He pours out to me as I turn to Him. Um, the comfort I receive as I um, turn to Him with my struggles is so helpful. It it brings me peace and joy and pulls me out of the, the struggle that I face. Um, I'm so grateful for my Savior Jesus Christ and that He would call me His friend, that He would tell me not to fear, that He would comfort my heart and help me rejoice in, as I give thanks and everything. And um, that's just been a blessing in my life. I'm going to have my husband join me in singing um, Count Your Many Blessings. Switch. When upon life's billows you are tempest-tossed, when you are discouraged thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God hath done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God hath done.